Okay, so a JK flip flop is given and the connection is shown. Q bar is connected to J and Q is connected to K. So J and K will be inverted. That means it will work as a D flip flop. We can tell that now. Uh, and there are there, there are S and R inputs. Uh, both of them, the inputs have bubbles that means they are active low R is set to 1 so that means that reset is inactive throughout and the wave shape of S is given here the clock signal is also given and as can be seen here the clock is of rising age uh, and also here these are the edges of the clock where the clock will work so we have uh, enough information to be able to draw Q and Q bar. We have to remember that Q bar is J and Q is K. Now S is initially low, that means Q will be low initially. It will be set, Q will be high. So Q will be set to 1 initially. So Q bar will be 0. So that's how we will start. Q is 1 and q bar is 0 that means j is 0 k is 1 when the clock comes because j is 0 q will become 0 and this one will become 1 similarly again when the second clock comes which is here if i the clocks are like this i will draw lines approximately for the clocks so yeah that will be better these are where uh, the timings where the when the clock comes approximately of course I have drawn, drawn roughly so uh, roughly means it's just free uh, freehand drawing so it doesn't look perfect so here again when the second clock comes that is at this point when it comes here we can see that J is now 1 and K is 0 so Q will become 1 because J is 1 and Q bar will become 0 so it's like that maybe I will use another color because maybe I will use green now so that's 1 and it goes like that it is 0 it goes like that when the third lock comes that is here again we can see that at this point J is 0 so Q will become 0 and Q bar will become 1 similarly when this clock comes because J is 1 Q will become 1 and Q bar will become 0 and this will keep happening of course this again here at this point J is 0 so Q will become 0 and Q bar will become 1 and then again here it will rise and it will fall so it will be a rise to 1 and this will fall to 0 so this is how the wave shape will look and because Q and Q bar so this is basically a D flip flop uh, uh, D flip flop in effect so yeah